Hello and welcome to Evening Reading and Prayer. It's Thursday, March the 17th of 2022. And in the spirit of St. Patrick's Day, we are going to be using prayer resources this evening from a variety of Celtic resources. So we open with a reading from Celtic parables. Never mock what others say. Perhaps their words are full of nonsense. Perhaps they are trying to puff themselves up. Perhaps they like hearing the sound of their voices. Perhaps they are trying to deceive their hearers. Perhaps they are foolish and dim. Perhaps they are more clever than wise. Yet amidst the useless clay, you may find jewels beyond price. The word of God is in every heart and can speak through every voice. Let us pray. At the setting of the sun, in the enveloping darkness of night, at the interplay of hours with sunlight giving way to moonlight, I step from the day into the night with a desire to be still, and in being still to turn to you, O God, and in turning to you to return to the creative depths of my soul. At the setting of the sun, in the darkness of the night, I turn to you. Amen. Our scripture reading this evening is Daniel chapter 3, verses 1 to 30. King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold, 60 cubits high and 6 cubits wide, and set it up on the plain of Jura in the province of Babylon. He then summoned the satraps, prefects, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the other provincial officials to come to the dedication of the image he had set up. So the satraps, prefects, governors, advisors, treasurers, judges, magistrates, and all the other provincial officials assembled for the dedication of the image that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up, and they stood before it. Then the herald loudly proclaimed, Nations and peoples of every language, this is what you are commanded to do. As soon as you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipe, and all kinds of music, you must fall down and worship the image of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar has set up. Whoever does not fall down and worship will immediately be thrown into a blazing furnace. Therefore, as soon as they heard the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, and all kinds of music, all the nations and peoples of every language fell down and worshipped the image of gold that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. At this time, some astrologers came forward and denounced the Jews. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, May the king live forever. Your majesty has issued a decree that everyone who hears the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipe, and all kinds of music must fall down and worship the image of gold, and that whoever does not fall down and worship will be thrown into a blazing furnace. But there are some Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who pay no attention to you, your majesty. They neither serve your gods nor worship the image of gold you have set up. Furious with rage, Nebuchadnezzar summoned Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So these men were brought before the king, and Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the image of gold that I have set up? Now when you hear the sound of the horn, flute, zither, lyre, harp, pipe, and all kinds of music, if you are ready to fall down and worship the image I made, very good. But if you do not worship it, you will be thrown immediately into a blazing furnace. Then what God shall be able to rescue you from my hand? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was furious 
with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and his attitude toward them changed. He ordered the furnace heated seven times hotter than usual and commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. So these men, wearing their robes, trousers, turbans, and other clothes, were bound and thrown into the blazing furnace. The king's command was so urgent and the furnace so hot that the flames of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, firmly tied, fell into the blazing furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leapt to his feet in amazement and asked his advisors, Weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, Certainly, Your Majesty. He said, Look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed, and the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire, and the satraps, prefects, governors, and royal advisors crowded around them. They saw that their fire, the fire had not harmed their bodies, nor was a hair of their head singed. Their robes were not scorched, and there was no smell of fire on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants. They trusted in him and defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. Therefore I decree that the people of any nation or language who say anything against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be cut into pieces and their houses be turned into piles of rubble, for no other god can save in this way. And then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our reading this evening is written by Chelsea Judry, who's a Vancouver School of Theology and St. Andrew's Hall student. This is from the collection of devotions for Lent for this year from St. Andrew's Hall. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had refused to worship King Nebuchadnezzar's golden statue, and as a result, the king had them thrown into an extremely hot furnace. One may think this is where the story ends, but a fourth person, who is described as a son of God, joins them in the fire, saves them, and the three men walk out of the furnace unharmed and untouched. Thanks be to God. They went into that fire trusting and believing in God, just as Jesus did in the wilderness throughout his whole ministry and his journey to the cross. Just like us, as we are called in our own lives to trust and believe. I feel like this is what the COVID-19 pandemic has felt like, a fiery furnace. And just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, we don't know what the end results will be. We don't know the long-lasting impacts on self and others from the pandemic. What we do know is that God loves us and will see us through whatever fires this world has to offer. What furnaces have you been thrown into lately? What have your responses taught you about your faith? Is it trusting? Is it full of belief? Is it grounded in the promises of God? For I tell you, it is this trust, this belief, and those promises that brings us hope on days that are isolating and in moments of despair. It brings peace on days that are uncertain and in moments you feel like you cannot bear. Praise be to the Father in heaven, who loves us all and who rescues those who trust and believe. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> I have witnessed inspiration of spirit in the voice of a woman, in the colors of an artist, in the prophetic vision of a leader, in the most simple acts of daily kindness and neighborliness. 
I have experienced creativity in my own soul, in seeing things anew, in unplanned utterances of wonder and passion, in the most ordinary actions of tending and caring. In the life of the world this night, in every nation and among every people, let there be fresh stirrings of your spirit. In my own soul and in the world tonight, let there be fresh stirrings of your mighty creating spirit. As earth requires rest and the seas need time to be replenished, so in resting may I be made more alive. So in stillness may my creativity be born anew. Bless me in the night, O God, that I may wake refreshed with your ministering messengers of sleep. Bless me in the night. Amen. I'd like to close this evening with the words of an Irish blessing given to me by a very dear member of my congregation. May you be blessed with walls for the wind, a roof for the rain, a warm cup of tea by the fire, laughter to cheer you, those you love near you, and all that your heart might desire. Amen. Good night.